Today we are in Hoi An, Vietnam. We've been traveling through Vietnam over the last week and we're now halfway up the country in this adorable port city. Hoi An was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site because it's surprisingly untouched from a lot of the wars in the 20th century. We'll be exploring the Old Town area, getting a few custom pieces of clothing, and taking a unique ride on a boat we've never heard of before. Yeah. <laughs> And they have a very popular night market. It's insane how many people are here right now. Our hotel is fantastic. They have free bikes for us to use all over town. And they do have enough for two, but we decided it'd be better to try out one today. They have a comfy little seat for me. It honestly would have been the smarter decision to take a grab or rent a motorbike because this place is about six kilometers away from downtown. But we decided to ride the bike in 89 degree weather and like 80% humidity. But at least Nate's doing all the work. Okay, we made it to Coconut Village. I want to say Cam though, but in order to enter the village, we have to pay an entry fee of 15,000 dong per person and get these little tickets at the ticket booth. The entry fee to the town does not include the basketball tour, so we'll just find somebody in town in order to do that. So the coconut boat is actually the reason we came out here. It's a super unique mode of transportation that they used in fishing villages and now it's a tourist attraction. Normally there's like a thousand boats on the river at a time but it doesn't look that busy. I don't see anybody in a boat right now and a lot of boats just sitting here waiting to be rented so. Holy cow big tour. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh thank you. <laughs> We were just about to head out and go look for our own boat, but the family here offered to get their boat person and it's a hundred dong total for the both of us. So that's a lot cheaper than I saw online. So we're just gonna do that. And it's recommended by these nice people. So it should be fun. Okay, are you ready? We go. Yeah. We're getting hats to help with the sun. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that these boats were created as a way for the locals to get around some of the French taxes that came about when French colonized Vietnam. So they taxed all the fishing boats. So they made these baskets and said, technically they're not boats, but we can still fish out of them. And the French said, all right, I guess you're right. So they didn't tax them. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually true, but that's a legend and I like the story. <laughs> It's a basket jam. Oh, butter bun. One thing they really like to do on these boats is spin you in circles. It's like the Vietnam version of a bucking bronco. <laughs> it's pretty funny to watch. And harder to hang on than you might think. One more. Oh, Here we go. Yay. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay to drive? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you. For you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh good, you got the water. 
Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt like I did that very bye poorly. Bye. 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 Thank you. Okay. That was amazing. That's it for our Coconut Town adventures. The kind of by accident bonus of coming to this restaurant to have a coconut before we went on the coconut basket boat is that we got to park our bike somewhere in the shade and somewhere that people were watching it. We really didn't actually have a plan for that, so it worked out really well. Time for lunch. We are so hungry and we want to sit and this place has a lot of shade. Although no air conditioning, which is like every restaurant everywhere in Vietnam. <laughs> but we're getting a very authentic dish. First up is a soup that has ofal in it, which I had to look up what ofal was. And I, I'm just gonna eat the broth. I'm nervous. Okay, no, I'll eat some. I'll eat some. Ofal is internal organs of a chicken. This is chicken ofal, so internal organs of a chicken. It smells really good. Mmm, it's super, super garlicky. And the organ that I had, no idea what it was, but it was really like, soft, kind of like a mushroom or tofu. Really good broth though. Oh, it was so fast. Thank you. The main dish is kamga, which is chicken and rice, and the influence came from the Hainanese. The difference in Vietnam though is that the chicken is shredded. Complementing the chicken and rice is more alfal or chicken organs, and it looks like either chicken blood or maybe even pork blood. And then on top are some herbs and some onions. If you look confused long enough, kind people will always help you. We got a little pro tip from either the restaurant owner or someone that works here that you should top the chicken and rice with the papaya and carrots that come with it. Put some chili on and some soy sauce and mix it all together to have like the perfect bite. I got a bite with some herbs, onion, papaya, chicken, and a little rice and chili. It's really good. It's kind of like traditional Vietnamese flavoring, where it just feels like really hearty, but everything tastes delicious all together. And a little spicy with all that chili sauce. I kind of wondered if it was, it was too much. It was good. It's really spicy. <laughs> We took a little nap and cooled off before we came back out. It's so much cooler in the evenings when the sun is not beating down on you. But this is one of the most popular stops here in Hoi An. It's the Japanese bridge, and it just goes over a little part of the river here. It's beautiful. I don't know a ton of the history of it, but it's very old and very popular. I don't know how this is happening, but she got the bridge to herself and now she got this entire room to herself and there's so many people in here. Inside, they actually give some of the history of the bridge and it looks like the Japanese built it long ago so that they could do business and trade with the locals here in Hoi An. And it became such an iconic bridge that they've just continued to restore it over the years. The main reason that Hoi An is UNESCO World Heritage Site is because they have over 800 historic buildings still, like this gorgeous all black Fung Hung home. Cheers. Cheers. If you missed our last video, it's lemongrass tea with cinnamon in it. In short, it's just happiness in a cup. It's so quiet back here. It's like such a nice break from all the chaos that's going on outside these alleyways. This is a home from the 18th century. It's called the Tanki House, and it was home to a family of merchants. Now you can walk through it now, but it requires tickets. So I think today we'll just observe from the outside. These bike taxis are insanely popular. I'm sure just for the tourists, but look at this line. Two, Three, four. And they've been going by us the whole time we've been walking down here. Ooh. 
We are up against some storm clouds right now and the sun setting. So we hopped over here to the Fujian Chinese Assembly Hall. It is this gorgeous building built by the Fujian Chinese with such detail and so much color. And it's just really representative of Hoi An as a whole. It's just a giant melting pot of so many different cultures because it is a port city. Japanese, Hainanese, Chinese, Vietnamese. It's just everything all mixed together and it's its own special thing. And now the moment Alicia has truly been waiting for all day. Bye. Come on, that's just amazing. This is what I've been most excited for coming to Hawaii. And they are known for all of their tailors. There's over 500 tailor shops here. And yesterday we came in to get our first fitting. Okay, I have a few things in yes. mind. Yeah, that's how it always starts. <laughs> we'll see where it ends. It's $55. Look how cute this stuff is though. I ended up ordering four things. leisha has been so stressed about these clothes. Did I get the right clothes? Did I get the right fabric? Do you think they'll fit? I'm such a stress ball. You think? <laughs> we came back tonight though because it's so hot out that we wanted to come in the evening instead of during the day like we did yesterday. So hopefully this goes a little better because it's slightly cooler, but we have been walking around for 45 minutes. So I don't know if it really helped that much. Yes, now I'm ready. Okay. The reveal. Ready, ready go. Ready, go. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Isn't it cute? It looks awesome. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we might never go home. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, next. One for one. One, two, three. Where did he go? Where did he go? Look at it. Oh, those look good too. Don't they? And this is the top. New top. Oh, this is the top? Yeah, it's like my blue one. They kind of look like dress pants. You don't like that? No. Okay. I think we're two for three right now. It's hard to explain. She used to have these pants that were sweatpants, but looked like you could wear them anywhere. And that's what she's trying to replicate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll Thank see you so you much. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, you got everything? See, there was reason to be stressed. In the end, Alicia liked most of the clothes, but the pants were the wrong fabric. But once it's made, you're kind of stuck with it. They'll tailor it more so it fits better, but they won't change the fabric out completely. So, two for three. You can see preparations beginning for the storm that's inevitably going to hit right now. Everybody's putting the little plastic uh, tarps over their shops. I think the power is out. I think you're right. Look at that sky. Everyone's taking cover. Feels like something much bigger than just a storm is about to happen. The storm totally passed. It was really windy, but not a lot of rain at all. And now we are going to the Hoi An Night Market, which is crazy, crazy busy. And we're gonna try some food. Have we just been traveling too much over the last two years? Or is this just crazy busy for a Sunday? It's insane how many people are here right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it is like shopping overload. Everything is here that you could ever want anywhere in your life. Head scratchers, magnets, postcards, purses. It's all here. Babe, I love these. Look at these. Wouldn't these be so cool to have like at home? Yeah, but look at how pretty that teapot is. Oh wow. I love it. Oh my god. I want a home just so I can buy stuff for it. Thank you so much. Thank you much. very much. But they're so freaking nice. I just, oh, my heart is like growing. Three sizes. <laughs> it was originally three sizes too small. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Try right, inside banana. Banana? Yeah. Uh, coconut, banana, inside. Very good. Okay. I'll try one. That's for me. Thank you. How would you dine? We're looking for dinner, but we came across dessert. I think this is a banana wrapped in rice, grilled over these beautiful charcoals, and then topped with what I asked for a small amount of condensed milk, just lathered on, and then peanuts and coconut shavings. Comprehensive taste test. The banana is so hot, I almost burned my mouth. And even though I have peanuts, I just want peanut butter drizzled over it. I'm kind of a peanut butter addict, so that doesn't surprise me, but good stuff. We just do like uh, the grilled veggies. Super good. 
Chicken? Yeah. Okay. You want chicken? Yeah. Sit down, please. Oh, sit down. Yeah, sit down. Okay. okay. All right. It looks delicious and it smells really good. I'm gonna try a red pepper first. I think you can just cook one. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Good charcoal taste? Mm hmm. Go right for the chicken. Look at this. Oh, that pepper was so good. That pepper tastes like it was straight off the pizza. Do you get that? It, like, I know it's a weird thing, but it's true. Also really good. Mm -hmm. One dollar for all that deliciousness. Thank you so much. They're very good. I will always buy charcoal grilled corn. It is on corn. This is how you eat it in Mexico. With an Asian twist. Mmm. Mm. We should go. Go. <laughs> We're back at the busy part again. So there's one dish we didn't find in the market. It might have been there, we just didn't see it. And it's one we haven't tried yet in Vietnam. So we came to this restaurant, Nostalite, because they're supposed to have a very good version of the dish we're looking for. So these are white rose dumplings, which are all made at the same restaurant in town and just dispersed throughout. They are made with rice paper that's translucent and shaped like a rose. And the inside has mushrooms and shrimp and spring onions. And it's said to be made from the water from a specific well here in Hoi An, so they're not found anywhere else. Cheers. Oh my God, really good. That is delicious. Such a good dumpling, and that chili sauce that they serve it with, wow. Plus with these crunchy shallots, this is like top three dishes in Vietnam so far. One last dish before we go home, we got mango cakes. They've been selling them everywhere. They look like powdered donuts, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's so doughy. Is it? I don't like it so far. But hold on. Oh, it's like peanutty. Oh my god, I think there's peanuts in here. It's too doughy. <laughs> so much is happening right now. Okay, I took too big of a bite. Getting stoned. Over here. <laughs> This does not include the basket boat tour, hey, so hey, we just hey. find someone inside. Yeah. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you see that microphone? Hi. You're so cute.